Hi, Jillian. Um, I've been trying to lose weight for about two, two and a half years, and nothing seems to work. I exercise about two to three times a week, and I've made some major diet changes. I've cut out white flour and white sugar, even red meat. I just can't seem to lose the weight. Jillian, what am I doing wrong? Help! Well, fortunately, Cassie's here with us today. Cassie, why don't you come on up here? Now, Cassie, here's the good news. I bet you I can solve this problem for you in about 30 seconds. Okay, go. Do you or don't you count calories? No. And there's your problem. Calories are everything when it comes to weight loss. It's the universal rule. It's calories in versus calories out. Simple math. Let me explain. Okay. A pound is 3,500 calories, okay? There have been studies where people have lost the same amount of weight eating, uh, eating Twinkies, even beer, beer diet, the Twinkie diet, when they were eating whole foods, like no one should be clapping. <laughs> Don't be clapping. I'm using it as an example, not a lifestyle choice out there, and you know who you are. What I'm trying to say is, at the end of the day, you won't be healthy, but it's simple math, okay? Calories are a unit of energy. So, you're working out, right? And you're getting out there two to three times a week. Well, I'm gonna say you're burning maybe 400, maybe 500 calories an hour, all right? So, if you're walking two to three times a week, maybe you're burning 1,500 calories? Well, that's like, half a pound almost, not exactly. So if you're not counting how much you're eating, if you ate 2,000 calories that day, even though it was good food, and up next we're gonna talk about healthy food that can actually make you gain weight, so I'm jumping the gun a little, but even though it's good food, you might be eating 2,000 calories or 1,800 calories or even 1,500 calories, and you're creating a homeostasis. You're creating a flat line. There's no deficit. So the key here, number one, is to learn what your metabolic rate is. So the first thing we want to know is your basal metabolic rate. Now, by the way, you can go to the doctor's website to figure out what your BMR is. There's a calculator on there, thedoctorstv.com. Check it out. Then I want you to figure out what your active metabolic rate is. Then when you work out, you can add that to the mix, and you say, oh, I worked out today. I did 2,100 calories. Okay, great. Then if you count the calories you're eating, all right, you eat okay. 1,500 calories, you now have a 600-calorie deficit. It's a lot of math. But the reality is, to burn 3,500 calories, you need to have a 500 deficit calorie a day to lose one pound a week. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And with the scale, don't get on the scale more than once a week because we can have massive fluctuations in fluid depending upon our hormones or what we ate the day before, if we had something that was salty. Once a week, same scale, same time of day, same day of the week. Consistency is key. And that really functions as a compass to let you know when you're off track. But if you're doing this every day, it's gonna send you into a tailspin. So I want you to figure out your active metabolic rate and I want you to count the calories you're eating. And then I guarantee you, you will succeed with your weight loss. Make sense? Yes. All right, buddy, thank you for coming.